going to relocate from Abuja. <laughs> the sun is, is killing, guys. What up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about popular Nigerian vegetables, guys. Uh, this, this is a video idea that I've been thinking about for a while. I'm like, okay, so I know this is more like a gardening channel. And there are some vegetables that are just like it is, it, it's a given that as a Nigerian, um, you have to make use of these vegetables. So the first vegetable we're going to be talking about is jute. Jute, 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 ewedu. <laughs> like, ewedu is jute leaves. Ewedu leaves are very super duper popular in Nigeria. Like, especially amongst the Yoruba. And I, I think Aosa has also um, cooked with ewedu leaves. Like, ewedu is is a quaint essential nigerian plant period vegetable period like i know Igbos probably don't eat it as much as hausas and yorubas but man amalan ewedu if you have not tried oh sorry guys the sun is it's coming in and coming out when i know this ewedu is is the bomb especially when you eat it with soup i saw a video of um, a lady an Igbo lady who cooked their own version of cooking a way so it is a nigerian it's a nigerian vegetable guys um the second vegetable um that is a nigerian vegetable is bitter leaf for a wuro yeah that's what the yorubas call it i don't know tell me Igbo people what do you people call bitter leaf because Igbos cook a lot with bitter leaf and bitter leaf is just it's just a it's a medicinal plant so <laughs> my husband, <laughs> my husband after i had drank a lot of sweet things and i said ah, i want to eat bitter leaf soup <laughs> so bitter leaf is a medicinal plant and it is used in different dishes um, it's used to cook egusi, it's used to cook um, just talif soup on its own and I remember growing up my mom would wash it if, did you guys, did you guys, you guys, did you drink bitter water? like that was part of the, I have actually have post-traumatic stress disorder thinking about the amount of bitter leaf water that I drank in my life <laughs> But it's actually very medicinal because people who have diabetes and all of that, they, they, when they take bitter leaf, it actually helps them. Um, the third vegetable we are going to talk about is African spinach, a fortete. Yeah, this is all green. People call it green. It's very popular in the market and it's it's also very tasty. I love eating it with yam, guys. Like when you eat uh, African spinach um, sauce with yam ha you will testify have you tasted it before tell me in the comment section if you've had african spinach with yam before that's another vegetable that is quite popular in nigeria when growing up we used to dry it because we we had this my gardening life started way back we had um we used to grow in uh in front of the house so people would come and steal mm, side eye to all those vegetable tips they'll come and steal our vegetable so we used to dry it and it's very, the dried one is actually very tasty guys very 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 tasty um the next one the next vegetable we are going to be talking about is shoko yokoto efo shoko shoko <laughs> yeah efo shoko um is they, they have different varieties you have it's actually called amara 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 Amaranthus. Amaranthus. Let's just leave it at Efoshoko. I cannot come and cut my tongue. Anyway, so Efoshoko is, it has different species. They have different varieties. You have the red one, you have the green one. I remember growing up, they say you have to pour hot water on it. Did you guys have that? Is that what you guys do? Because I remember an auntie of mine, she would say, pour hot water, don't just cook it like that. Oh, pour hot water on top. Oh. So, Efoshoko is another vegetable, or they call it Lagos spinach. It's another vegetable that is quite popular in Nigeria, in Nigerian cuisine. And Next on our list is water leaf, guys. Water leaf is very versatile. People use it in cooking, um, 
Edikain Kong. But where I grew up from, Benin, we used to make it as just a sauce on its own. I remember preparing it for a friend one time and she was like, Oh, I never knew you could prepare water leaf on its own. Guys, fam, that I leave sauce. Oh, is a truth, guys. Try it. Got egg leaves. Um, my grandma used to plant it in the house then, and she used to actually use it to cook egusi sometimes. Like if she has all those are old friends coming to visit. Granny will cook egg, um, eggplants and um, egusi, and so yeah, not a lot of people use it, and you don't even find it in the market a lot, like other leaves. But it is a delicacy, guys. It is a great, amazing delicacy that. You all, you have to try it. And if have you tried eggplant sauce before? Okay, check out this video that I did um, over here. If you don't know how to make eggplant sauce, it is, it's, it's, it will change your, your your taste board. It's going to change how you interact with food. <laughs> okay, so the next one is spinach. We used to call it oyibo water leaf. Um, it's called a for I'm on to, to, sorry anyway so we call it oyibo water leaf it creeps and it has this berry like kind of fruit I don't see it in the market a lot probably in it will be in the market but I've not seen it in the market even growing up it was something that people just had in their houses and they used to cook it, it's also it has it wants to have the it kind of has the texture of water leaf but it has a heart shape kind of the, Okay, so it, it's another vegetable that is quite common in Nigeria. Um, next one is Saint Leaf, African Basil, um, Holy Tulsi. It has different names, but Saint Leaf is is also another medicinal plant that is popular in Nigeria. Growing up, because I grew up, I stayed with my grandma, so we use it to cook black soup. Shout out to all my Edo people. <laughs> So we used it to cook black soup and that was a delicacy in the house like black soup can cure any sickness it's a bobo riche soup <laughs> so yes yeah, send leaf and you can also wash scent leaf and just drink it and it's good for postnatal care so if you just had a baby and you want to take care of your tummy and all of that drinking scent leaf is very very effective yeah scent leaf um the next one is afang leaf yeah shout out to all my ibibio i had a friend and no i have a friend she's still my friend when we were in school we'll go to our house we we'll beg and oh yeah cook now cook afang for us let's come and sit down and chop the life of our head and we'll eat oh it's good to have a aqua bomb friend my guys go and look for aqua bomb friend <laughs> So, Afang leaf is also very popular in the market. I think Igbos call it Okazi, yeah. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I think Igbos call it Okazi leaf. So, Afang is also is strong. Um, I don't know if it's cultivated. I think they, they pick it out from the bush. We need to begin to change our minds and begin to cultivate all these plants before they become extinct. Um, the next leaf is Utazi, Utazi is different from Uziza leaf. Um, um, Utazi, I have to do a video on that because people always confuse Utazi leaf with Uziza leaf or Okazi. They are, they are different, guys. They are entirely different. Um, we, use, we also use it to do black soup. Oh, yeah, because I remember the last time my mom came and she brought all those leaves to prepare black soup for me because sometimes it's just it's, you know it's, there's a difference between the one that your mommy makes and the one that you make <laughs> so yeah utazi is another very very popular nigerian vegetable now let us crown the king of veggies all a the igwe of vegetable in nigeria and that is ugu 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 Ugu, that's the king of vegetables. Oba, oh, that's the upper of vegetables in Nigeria. Like everywhere you go, Ugu, Ugu, Ugu. Veggies, all a the igwe of vegetable in Nigeria, and that is Ugu, Ugu, 
Ugu, Ugu, that's the king of vegetables. Oba, oh, that's the upper of vegetables in Nigeria. Like everywhere you go, Ugu, 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 you see Ugu every single way. And it's, it's also good for blood, right? Because um, when we're growing up, you wash it and put it with Malta Guinness if somebody was not feeling fine they say I go bring the blood come out the blood go increase anyway so yeah those are vegetable guys fam you want to check out my other video on how to irrigate your kitchen garden guys in this hot weather okay you need to have an irrigation plan <laughs> anyway so thank you so much for watching guys if i missed any vegetable and i didn't mention any vegetable tell me now tell me in the comment section give this video a thumbs up like leave a comment share with your friends thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye i forgot to add you can follow us on Instagram, Ninja Kitchen Garden. Let's share inspirations of our gardens together and just have a good time. I am Tim Talk by Banks and I'm changing our lifestyle one kitchen at a time. Bye guys!